Welcome to the online version of Alphabet Ready Storytime, and we're focusing on the letter R today. Normally, I am doing this in front of all my friends, and now there's nobody, so it's kind of sad and harder to do, but I'm just imagining that you're all there in front of me. And we'll start like we always do with a puzzle, and our puzzle will focus on the letter R, and we've got a capital or uppercase R right here and a lowercase, but the puzzle actually will, um, that we'll be doing is the uppercase R and it has seven pieces to it. So we're gonna start and hopefully you'll be able to guess all seven pictures. So the way it works is we've got um, pictures of words that begin with the letter R and have that R sound, and that sound is er, like row, row, row. It's kind of hard to do when you're doing it just by itself, but when it's in the beginning of a word, I think you'll you'll hear it better. Um, so I will give you a clue, like always, and then if you want, you can pause the video, and then I will show the picture, and we'll just. Take it from there. So my very first clue and the first word is um, something that comes from the sky. And today is April 1st and we've had a little bit of snow. And snow of course starts with S, but I wanted to mention that because I can hardly believe we had snow today. Um, but this is not snow. It comes from the clouds and it's wet. Um, and I think you probably know it. And the answer is rain. So we're going to put that right here and go to our next one. And this is a machine that can do um, human things. And it rhymes with Mobot, but it starts with an R. And if you guess this, robot, you got it right. The next word is something that is very popular this time of year with Easter coming. Um, it's a, oh, I almost gave it away. It's a animal that some people call bunnies, but it starts with an R and it would be the Easter rabbit. And we're going to pretend that I didn't just give it away. So right now, this part of the R looks like another letter. And what letter would that be? It looks to me like a lowercase l, or maybe a lowercase i without the dot at the top. But we're gonna go on. And this is another animal. It's like a mouse, but it's bigger. Kind of creepy looking. Um, you don't see a lot of them, or at least I don't, as much as I do see mice. And they have a long, long tail and sharp teeth, and it starts with rat. Now, what letter does that look like? doesn't look like an L anymore, but it doesn't look like an uppercase R, but it kind of looks like a lowercase. You've got the line and then this part, just like here, but let's keep going and see if we can make uppercase R. If you're outside and you want to uh, move very quickly and you want to walk, but you want to walk fast, but then you want to keep going even faster, that word, and it would be something you might do in a race, that word is run. So I'm going to put our runner right here. The next word is a flower. This flower is often red or pink or yellow, and it smells really good. It rhymes with nose, and it starts with R, and that would be... Oops. Rose. Hmm. 
Okay, we're getting there. I think we have one more. This is an animal, we have a lot of animals. This is an animal with a mask and little paws that look like hands. It gets in the trash. And even though they're cute, they can be a nuisance. It starts with an R. Raccoon. So here we have our uppercase R. Um, in story time, when we do it in the classrooms or in the library, we will sing a song about the letter R and about the sound it makes. But also, a lot of times we sing if there's a child in our class that um, has a name beginning with R, we'll sing to that person, like uh, Rachel would be a great one, and we would sing, we would stand up, and they always liked it, I, I hope. Um, we would sing, Rachel starts with letter R, letter R, letter R, Rachel starts with letter R, 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 Rachel. So if you have any friends that begin with the letter R, you might want to pause this and just sing. Or if you don't know anybody with that name beginning with R, you could make one up, maybe from a book. But that's a fun way to sing the letter R or our focus letter song. Um, but the rest of it, what we normally do is we take each picture and we try to think up a good action for each picture and then we sing about it. So an example would be um, for running, we would all stand up and we would run real fast and we would sing, running starts with letter R, letter R, letter R, running starts with letter R, 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 running. I like to count them off to make sure I did all seven. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's our letter R puzzle and song. I wanted to introduce you to, <laughs> oh, come here, come here, Tucker, come. To Tucker, he's my dog, Tuck, there he is. And he's a retriever. So I just wanted you to see him because retriever starts with R, it ends with R and it has an R in the middle. And he's saying hi to you. One more time. After we do puzzle time and sing our song, um, I usually read a book or two and I'd like to show two books that focus on the letter R. One is a nonfiction book. It's called Rhinoceros Beetle and it's by Paige Polinsky. And I wonder if you see the R's in the title. The first word is rhinoceros, and the second word is beetle. And there's an R right there and an R right there. There's lots of ways you can check out books besides physically going into the library, but we always like to show one nonfiction book. And the other book I have is called and the robot went. And this is by Michelle Robinson, and her name starts with an R. And there is one R that I see in the title, and I wonder if you can see it. It's actually the color of red, and there it is, robot. At the end of the video, there will be some links for you to explore further activities. There might be um, a science activity or craft, lots of other books. So one of the most popular activities on the flannel board is trying to find something that's hidden behind a door or a flower, or in this case, I have five rugs. And the nice thing about this is that they're all different colors and they do have um, some designs on them, which might be hard to see on this video, but um, Let's just, let's just count and make sure we know what colors all the rugs are. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. There are five rugs and there is a ladybug hidden behind one of these rugs. And we need to 
try to guess which color rug the ladybug is hiding behind. So we have orange, green, blue, pink, and yellow. And we have a little poem that we say, and it's, Ladybug, Ladybug, are you hiding under the yellow rug? Let's look and see. No, Ladybug. Which one do you think? I wish I could hear you, but I can't. And honestly, I can't even remember where I put it. So we're just gonna hope for the best. Let's go with orange. Ladybug, ladybug, are you hiding under the orange rug? No. Which rug did you guess? I wish I could hear you. How about pink? Ladybug, ladybug, are you hiding under the pink rug? No. It's between green and blue. Ladybug, ladybug, are you hiding behind the blue rug? Did anybody say blue? There she is, it was the blue rug. And no ladybug under the green. I have another fun activity to share with you. And it's great because there are colors involved. There's a rainbow that starts with R. There's different fruits. And I hope you can see, this is my pot and I've got a spoon, which I'm going to use to stir things. And I just wanna show you the things that are going to go into the pot. We have something red, starts with R. And I think you know what that is, an apple. The next thing is an orange. Then we have one of these. Do you know what this is called? Lemon goes into lemonade. So we have a lemon. This is a pear. Blueberries. And do you know what this is? A bunch of grapes. So we have a little poem or a little saying that goes, take an apple, put it in the pot, stir it, stir it, stir it a lot, take it out now, what will it be? The prettiest red you ever did see. I'm just gonna move these over here, out of the way. Take an orange, put it in the pot, stir it, stir it, stir it a lot. Take it out now, what will it be? The prettiest orange you ever did see. Next is our lemon. We're gonna put it in the pot, stir it, stir it, stir it a lot. Take it out now, what will it be? The prettiest yellow you ever did see. Next we have our pear. Take a pear, put it in the pot, stir it, stir it, stir it a lot. Take it out now, what will it be? The prettiest green you ever did see. Fix that a little bit better. Now we have our blueberries. Take some blueberries, put them in the pot, stir it, stir it, stir it a lot. Take it out now. What will it be? Can you see this blue color? The prettiest blue you ever did see. The last one are our grapes. We're gonna put them in the pot, stir it, stir it, stir it a lot. Take it out now. What will it be? The prettiest purple you ever did see. What did we make with our rainbow stew? A magical rainbow for me and for you. And that's it for our story time. Remember to check our links and um, I'll see you with another letter soon.